hello guys happy tuesday so i just got back from f45 it was a strength day yeah i wanted to bring you guys through a week in my life because i haven't done one of these vlogs in a long time i just love them they're so fun and i feel like you get a more true depiction of what my life looks like because it shows more of what i do so um as you as you heard i did say happy tuesday yesterday was monday it was the day after super bowl so not gonna lie i cannot hang anymore i had like two glasses of wine and i was out for the count yesterday and i also got blood drawn um and that made me feel a little funky i think i was nervous for it and it like made me really tired yesterday did not count we're starting the week today on a tuesday wanted to show you guys i got a couple of packages in the mail and i wanted to unbox them for you guys i love doing unboxings and watching unboxings so i'm gonna show you what i got i have a feeling tomorrow is valentine's day so i have a feeling that a lot of this is gonna be like valentine's day gifts so i'm very excited also thank you to all of these companies who were thoughtful enough to send me some stuff first up being elemis in a nice big pretty blue box if you guys don't know what elemis is it's a skincare company i use a lot of their stuff um the collagen cream you guys know and also their dynamic resurfacing pads absolutely love those so Let's get into it. Ooh, yes. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. Got a big box of literally all my favorite things. This is their collagen cleansing balm. I use this all the time too. The dynamic resurfacing pads, like I just said. I absolutely love these things. And then my favorite moisturizer right now. And then they also sent a cute little new skincare headband. I'm so excited about this because my pink one is, it's seen better days. So thank you so much, Elemis. I love this stuff. Next up is from Buff Bunny, fragile. So open with love. I have a feeling this one's gonna be a Valentine's Day gift. Stop. Okay, so first I have a little card with my name on it and a little tiny bouquet of flowers it says with all our love buff bunny collection oh my gosh this is so freaking cute and then i also have a little box too but i'll open the card first happy valentine's day it says cory happy valentine's day we couldn't help but pause and shower you with some love you light up our sisterhood with your smile laughter and unstoppable bond that has bloomed just like a bouquet of flowers love the buff bunny team oh my god that's so cute all right now for this box <laughs> That is so cute. Uh, it's a little, a, a little chain necklace that says Buff Bunny on it. Stop. That is adorable. Next, I have no idea what this one is. It doesn't say who it's from. So we're going to be surprised together. Oh, this is something I ordered. I ordered a Skims top. It was on sale and I've been really wanting just like another everyday t-shirt. I absolutely love this color. So it's like a bright red. And this is their Fits Everybody tee. I love Skims, so... Very excited about that. And then last one is from Jones Road. I recently just got PR from them like the other day. And they're like a clean skincare and... Oh, cute. Oh my gosh, yes. So I actually have two other shades. The first PR they sent me was their blush. I love this stuff. So it's like a blush. You can use it as lip balm too. That's really pretty. Makeup brush with it. I already have one of these, but I love using these for like contour or foundation if I'm using like a heavy duty foundation. That is my haul. Other than that, today has been a good day so far. Like I said, I went to F45, got a good workout in. I got to work out with some of my friends. Um, and then my car is currently in the shop right now because I had to get a lot of things done to her oil change tire rotation all of that stuff so me and jack have to go pick that up somewhat soon and then later today i'm doing a private a dance private with this girl who's wanting to try out for her high school dance team so i'm going to be working with her on tuesdays so i'm that's in a little bit too so little update for the day i hope you guys are having a good day and now i need to go get something to eat for lunch all right just got ready for the day um i'm absolutely living for this top i have never had a fits everybody top from skims yet and safe to say very cute i love this color i love bright colors you guys know me um but now it is lunch time and after while i'm eating lunch i have a little life update for you guys it's so exciting so i'm gonna make lunch and then we'll sit down and have a little chat a little catch up also i kind of wanted to make this video because just to be completely honest with you guys, I've been in a little bit, not even a slump, just like a really busy period of life with like work and stuff and what I'll update you guys in a minute on. 
Um, so I haven't been on top of my shit, just to be honest. I haven't been super on top of like nutrition and can, like going to the gym five days a week like I normally do. Um, so this week is dedicated, minus yesterday, this week starting today is dedicated to getting back on track with everything because I just don't feel like obviously I know like I'm not overweight or anything like that but I just don't feel healthy if that makes sense like you know when you feel healthy and like you're eating well and you just feel really good I don't feel like that right now so we're getting back on track I might go to the grocery store later if I have time if not I have to move it tomorrow because like I said today's a busy day so if you have kind of fallen off of your new year's resolutions or just can been in a really busy period of life then we can hop back on it together i hope this video is kind of like motivation for you to get back into your healthy lifestyle because i'm starting again as well i've just been eating out extremely extremely too much don't judge me we're gonna have some tuna so i'll make some for jack too but he's currently at the gym um i really like this brand from costco this is the wild planet albacore wild tuna so the reason why i like this is because it's pole and line caught it's also sustainably caught so the tuna isn't like farm raised which farm raised fish is terrible for you one and a half serving so this will probably be like 150 calories uh 21 grams of protein zero fat i love tuna because it's literally straight protein on top of a slice of sourdough bread all right guys so lunch is served also topped it with microgreens this is such a hack if you do not like greens or vegetables because first of all microgreens are so extremely good for you there's so many different minerals nutrients micronutrients in them and they're super easy to eat and they don't taste like anything they literally are just like little microgreens so um hack just put it on top of like eggs or a sandwich or something and you literally can't even taste them I love tuna. It's so good. I'm gonna put this down and I wanted to give you guys the little update. Actually, it's kind of a big update about what I talked about in my last video. If you didn't watch it, go watch it. Basically, we were touring a bunch of different places to live like last couple weeks. Um, and we finally made a decision and we got the call yesterday that we were approved. We got a house. So we are still renting. We're still gonna be renting the house because it's really close to where we live now. We're not sure if we wanna live here long-term. Like we're not sure if this is like our forever home, but we definitely needed more space. So we toured townhomes in the community. It's like a neighborhood, it's really cute. Um, and we originally wanted to do the townhome. It was three bedrooms, really nice. But the only thing with that is that we had two people on either side of us and we were going to be sandwiched in the middle and alongside of that there probably wasn't going to be a ton of windows all throughout the house which is really important to me and jack since we work from home and i rely on natural lighting for my videos um so we were like meh i mean whatever we got approved for that one um but then a standalone house they call them villas the villa that we really wanted it's a two bedroom one story house um or villa whatever you want to call it we moved our application to that one and we found out yesterday that we got approved i'm literally so excited a lot more like it's literally double the size of this apartment that we have now and we'll have a garage there's still like a gym at the community and it's like a neighborhood like we're gonna have our own house and i'm so so excited for it i'm so proud of me and jack for all the hard work we put in last year to be able to do this and honestly like thanks so much to you guys for supporting me on my journey and allowing me to do this as my job i, I don't know what i did to deserve this platform but i'm just so 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 thankful for you guys to allow me to be able to do things like that and i'm also just want to brag on jack a little bit i'm so proud of him he's such a hard worker and i just feel like this is just kind of like a reward for how hard we've worked just within the past year and how much we've grown together and also separately in our own businesses we are 
done with this lease at the end of April. Um, but we got, we will start moving into the new place a week before the lease ends here. Just so we can like slowly move stuff over and we're not like super stressed ha and having to do it all in one day. So that's our update. Let me know if you guys have any questions about that. Obviously I'm going to be filming the whole thing, bringing you guys along with me. So yeah, that's the update for you guys. I'm going to just finish eating my lunch and then shortly I'll have to leave to go do my dance private with my girl. So see y'all in a few. All right, just got home. I did my private lesson with my girl and then I went and picked up my car. Well, Jack took me to go get my car and now we're back home. <sighs> car stuff is so expensive. Granted, I did have to get my oil changed, tires rotated and my brake lights were out. So I had to get those replaced. And then they had to do like a diagnostic on my radio because my radio hasn't been working. Turns out I have to get the whole thing replaced and got to figure all that out. So anywho, I'm back home now and Jack got us Chipotle for dinner. So I got a burrito bowl. So I get white rice with chicken, fajita veggies, and then I also get the green salsa. I believe that's mild. And then I also get cheese, lettuce, and sour cream. Oh, and most important part, the vinaigrette. If you're not getting the vinaigrette, you are missing out. It takes it to a whole new level. So I'm gonna eat this. And then I think Bachelor comes on tonight. So I might watch that. I'm not really into The Bachelor, but we don't have anything else to watch right now. So, mm, so good. All right, so just got done watching The Bachelor. I only watched the third episode. I think there's two more or something, I don't know. But I got a notification that our new trade meals were here. Not sponsored, I just wanted to show you what meals we got this week. Boo's playing with her bell toy underneath if you can hear her. Uh, basically, this is like a meal prep delivery service and I absolutely love them. It's made, one, it makes grocery shopping easier because I don't have to worry about our lunches for the week and also it kind of gives me more of a variety. So I'm gonna open these up. If you guys wanted to try them, they did give me a discount code for you guys to use. It's $40 off. If you use my code, I'll put it down below for you guys. I don't remember it off the top of my head, but highly recommend. They don't deliver everywhere, so just make sure that they deliver to your address before you put like all your information in. But if they do deliver to you, consider yourself one of the lucky ones. Starting off, I always get the six pack variety of their, their protein balls. They're so good. I got the buffalo chicken pizza. I got this last week and it's probably my, one of my favorites. It's so good. The barbecue beef burger with sweet potatoes and vegetable medley. I like this one a lot too. Lean ground beef with vegetables and then the Mediterranean chicken bowl, and then the chicken enchilada stuffed pepper. A good chunk of our lunch is covered for the week, so I'm just gonna put these in the fridge and then just kind of chill out for the rest of the night, and I will catch you guys when I start getting ready for bed. <laughs> We just got ready. Me and Jack are heading to breakfast for Valentine's Day. Um, we decided to do brunch breakfast instead of dinner because I feel like everywhere is gonna be super, super crowded. And I don't know, we just like brunch and we wanted to try this spot that we've never been to before. So heading there and I'm also, don't judge me, I'm wearing the same shirt that I wore yesterday from Skims and then just some baggy jeans. Happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> All right, so I just got ready to go to F45. I have on my gym fit. So this is the butter crop top. They still have these in stock. They did like a whole restock on a bunch of best sellers. And I absolutely love this crop top. I just think short sleeve like workout tops are so flattering and also really comfortable. Like you're not afraid of being unsupported and it's just a little bit more coverage. 
And then I also have on the butter legging in the color chai latte. I also really, really love these. I love the thick waistband and also the logo is like minimal, but like really cool looking. And then my Lulu belt bag that Jack's sister got me for Christmas. I have my pre-workout from 1UP all mixed up. I'm gonna drink this and then today's a cardio day. So I have all my hokas. And I'm ready to get my booty kicked. Wednesdays at F45. If I know some of my followers do F45. You know that Wednesdays are always super, super spicy. So I definitely need it today. I need a little kick. I'm gonna finish this and then drive over to the gym. I was obliterated, to put it lightly. Um, like I said, I've been kind of slacking with like eating well. My body like reacts very, very differently and performs differently. I mean, most people do. When my diet is not the best and I've been eating out a lot, that's why we're getting back on track. It's all good. <sighs> Today was Athletica for our workout. And if you know Athletica, you know the deal. Well, I really need to go grocery shopping. I still haven't gone. Today has gotten away from me as well. Maybe I'll do that. All right, guys, so I just got back from Trader Joe's. I did decide to go to the store, and here is all what I got. I got some mustard because we ran out, and I like to use that for, like, dressings and stuff. Some plantain chips, such a healthier alternative to normal chips. also got some raspberries, some guacamole on the go. Jack really likes these with, like, lunch. Some organic hummus. This one is my favorite, and the ingredients are actually pretty good for store-bought hummus. Two things of organic ground beef. I got some pita chips to go with the hummus or the guacamole. This is my favorite tofu. I also got some boars and cheese. Some sour Scandinavian swimmers. Try saying that four times fast. It's a tongue twister. Also got some bell peppers. I got orange, yellow, and red. I got two things of organic grass-fed milk. Some chicken breast, sourdough bread. I got the spicy jalapeno chicken sausage. I love that stuff. Some cauliflower. Three things of eggs. I got some purple onion. Brandy is guarding all of the groceries in case any monsters come to try to get them. Bunch of bananas. You guys know we're like monkeys over here. We love bananas. Um, my favorite pickles ever. Um, jumbo blueberries. A salad kit. A bag of organic sweet potatoes. That is all. This came out to be about $125, which will last us a good week and a half or so. And we will probably eat at home mostly, so it'll save us money on eating out. Right, Brady? Ooh, he winked at you, guys. All right, so now I just need to put all of this stuff away. And I also need to make dinner because your girl is starving. So for dinner, I was craving something just nutrient dense, you know, all the flavor. And I decided to have this bowl. Roasted sweet potatoes, I just put them in the air fryer so they're nice and roasted and a little bit like crispy. I did one spicy chicken sausage from Trader Joe's. Um, I did cauliflower, a few green beans and purple onions. And then I also, the sauce, topped it with barbecue sauce. This is just the organic one from Trader Joe's. These flavors together is just insane. You have to try it. And it's super, super nutrient dense, lots of micronutrients and color. So gonna have this. And then whenever Jack gets back from the gym, we're gonna watch Love is Blind. All right, I promise I have a sports bra on. It's just like a bandeau. Um, but I just got back from walking our neighbor's dog. About to go to F45 for a strength day, but I'm having a protein smoothie before. This is banana, frozen wild blueberries, organic grass-fed milk, chia seeds, and the ice cream sundae protein from 1UP. So good. All right, so just popped a podcast on while I made dinner and it looks so freaking good. Let me show you guys. All right, so here it is. I just made like a sandwich. Obviously, I would put that top of the toast on it whenever I eat it. I have a little side salad and a pickle. This is basically just like chicken breast with mayo, avocado, Thai sweet chili sauce, and then some microgreens. Mm, that looks so good. And that's that salad kit I got from Trader Joe's yesterday. I'm gonna eat this and then watch another episode of Love is Blind. Hey guys, so it's currently the next day. It's Friday. If you can't tell by my parents, um, it's actually the next night. It's like 8, 9 p.m. now. Um, I've, I'm down bad. I got whatever sickness is going around. I've had a fever all day, cough, chills, headache, like down bad over here. Okay. Um, so that's what today has consisted of is me laying right here in this spot. 
and yeah that's just what's what reality is um, i've been sick in like a year though so like i hope this is just like my once a year sickness because i have a lot of stuff coming up this year like the rest of this year so i'm hoping and praying that this is it for me <laughs> and i hope that it's short-lived as well um i just feel like you know i told you guys earlier this week that i just wanted to get into a better routine with like my fitness and nutrition and stuff and i was getting into that this week and then bam got hit with illness like and that just goes to show too that my body definitely responds to eating well and whenever i'm like off track with eating and like eating out a little bit more than usual which there's periods of time where that's gonna happen um but how much your immune system reacts to it as well so yeah just even more motivation to eat well and eat at home and cook eat your whole foods you know so i don't know what else to say but take your vitamins drink your water a lot of people at my gym are sick that I work at so it's going around anyways I love you guys I'm just going to keep drinking a lot of fluids and Jack's been taking such good care of me today so I'm thankful for that that I don't like live alone and also Brady's been cuddling with me like all day he's eating right now but I also watched the whole season six that's out right now of love is blind so there's that I would love to hear y'all's thoughts on love is blind this season so far and I'll catch y'all hopefully when I'm feeling better tomorrow Well, what a week last week was. It's currently a week after. Um, obviously I'm feeling a lot better. And of course, when I try to do a week vlog, I get deathly ill. <laughs> but I will say that I'm feeling so much better and I'm very thankful that I'm healthy again and I got a nice rest. So <laughs> let me know if you guys like the weekly vlogs. Obviously when I'm not sick, it'll be a couple more days that I film, but if you like them, let me know. They are a little bit longer. I know some of you guys love the longer vlogs. So honestly, I really liked filming it too because I didn't feel like I had to film every single little thing in my day. But yeah, I thought I would end the vlog here and thank you guys so much for watching. Again, if you liked it, let me know and I will definitely make more weekly vlogs in the future. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up and make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss any of my future videos and it also helps support my channel. I hope you guys have a good rest of your day or night whenever you're watching this and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!